Welcome back to Computer Networks, a systems approach. Um, in the last video, we talked about cost-effective resource sharing uh, of the actual network infrastructure. Um, now what we want to have a look at is a little bit of how can we do, if you like, resource sharing when we're having to write applica networked applications. So if we think about it at the, the simplest level, we could have it so that every application actually has to implement all of these network kind of functions. So we talked before about you know, being able to do a HTTP request with TCP and doing the DNS lookups and things. So all of that, we could make it so that every application has to have all of that implemented itself in there. Uh, but this would not be a particularly uh, good use of programmer resources and it would be prone to there being uh, differences in behavior and uh, bugs and incompatibilities between them precisely because of this diversity of implementations that would result. On the other hand, we can actually look at adding in uh, abstractions that hide that uh, complexity. And this is actually a key thing again that we'll see uh, in a recurring basis in computer networks and particularly in conjunction with this network, uh, sort of layered networking uh, approach is that it's very much about layering, encapsulating the complexity of a given level below another level above that uh, so that the uh, the applications have a, an easy well, the application developers have an easier time implementing and everyone has a better time because of the improved compatibility reduced bug rate and all those other things that come from uh, being able to abstract in that way so to achieve this uh, the network needs to provide some kind of logical channel something that looks like a simple data pipe uh, that you can feed messages into or just feed bytes or bits uh, into to go through the network to come to an application at the other end. Uh, it's a bit like with the, the tin can and string, we can just you know hold it to our ear and hear what the other person is saying. Um, but it actually doesn't matter whether it goes from string to fiber optic or whether you know there is some horribly complicated mess uh, in between, that the application can just behave exactly the same way, regardless of the underlying network uh, technologies, topologies, configuration, all of those sorts of things. And so, as I say, this is something that we'll come back to, uh, but we just really want to introduce this here now to get you thinking about it because it really is a key uh, factor that makes computer networks so successful. Uh, you know, hiding this complexity makes it easier for a variety of applications to be created and maintained and to interoperate with one another. So again, uh, any questions or comments, pop them below and we'll try and respond to those for you.